Good afternoon. This is Linda K. <coughs> and this is plot two number two three twenty three. Uh today is Friday <coughs> and I'm gonna start coughing because I'm talking. Um today is Friday, September the eleventh, twenty twenty. And it is twelve twelve forty eight PM my time. Um I have three whips that I'm gonna show you and here comes Buttercup. We come close enough, I'll pick them up. Come here, Buttercup. Come here. Come here. Come here. This is Buttercup. He is three years old. And he is ornery as a devil at times. And sometimes he is full of energy. And this morning he kicked out his, well, he didn't kick out, he was playing in his cat litter box. And he threw out his cat litter all over the floor here. And I had to clean it up two different times because it was a huge mess. Didn't you? Look at that innocent face. He's not innocent. <laughs> no, he's tape biting. Okay. <coughs> you got to see Buttercup. Uh, <coughs> I got cat hair in my mouth. Oh, by the way, I'm drinking my large Coke from McDonald's. <coughs> I went to McDonald's for lunch today and got my Daily Double, medium fries, no salt, and my large Coke. Okay. <coughs> the first one, I'm going to try to get through this without coughing. But I thought I will because I got... Every time he comes <coughs> near me, I start coughing. Uh, anywho, well, maybe. Oh, come on. Okay. The first one that I want to show you is called Peaceful Souls. And my. Patrick's wife asked me, she bought this as a kit from Joanne Fabrics. And she asked me to stitch this for her because she couldn't see well enough to stitch it. And she, and she, you know, would have gotten lost trying to stitch this. So, I did not use the thread that it came with. I am using my on DMC and this did give the conversion to DMC so that's what I'm using is my own DMC thread that I called for for the pattern and here is what it looks like and I'm using the fabric that it came with and like I said, I'm using my own DMC threads. And it did call for DMC threads and it gave the numbers for them. And as of this morning, here is what I got done on it. So basically, all I got left to do is the rest of the sand and there's grass underneath where the dark green is on this side. So there's grass right here. This is all sand right here. And then grass. And it's done. 
The tent is done with one strand of 822, one strand of 739, and it's done separately. So it's not, you know, one strand of 822, and then one strand of 739. So I'm guessing my child. So I'm guessing that I may have this done by the end of this month. That's what I'm aiming for. So, and this is it came, the fabric came with the kit. And a 14 count white Ada, I think it, yeah, 14 count white Ada. The sky is done, the blue part in the sky is done with one strand of, three I think it is. And it's done all, the sky is completely done in half distance. All half distance, one strand, which was a pain to do. So that's whip number one. And here is my bag, my vinyl plastic bag that I keep it in. Oops, I'm throwing the paddle. So. And then whip number two. And we're trying to get Okay, whip number two is this. Te tequila and and done by Dithrovia. The pattern by Dithrovia. So I am, as of today, I am down to the words of lime. So I don't have that much more to go. I still got to do the word lime and then and a then the glass of tequila, then the word shot of, and then the little dude daddy thingy, and then the word tequila, and then the lime thing down at the bottom. So I may, may have it done within two weeks time. And then I keep my floss and this. And here is my, I'm not going to take it out of the truth now because I got right where I want it. But there's... What I got done on it. So, and the top is completely done. I could take. Hang on a second. I'll take the bottom. The bottom. I'll take the top. I'll undo the top. Of that. And that way you can see the whole thing. So there it is. And I love the colors of this. They're bright, cherry looking, colorful looking. So I love this chart. And I love my Ah, where did it go to? Well, I don't know what happened to my thingy, but anywho, I'll find it eventually. So that's how much I got down to Kita. Oh, here it is. 
excuse me when I do this. Oh, and while I'm doing this, two Fridays ago, I got up and I always, always open up my window blind and open my window up for Buttercup. And I, and so I, you know, open my window up, open the blinds up, and I always look down, I mean, I always look out to see, you know, what going on and stuff. And when I looked out my bedroom window and had the blinds open, had my window open a little bit, I happened to look down on, toward the ground and I found a knife underneath my bedroom window. I immediately, I mean, I immediately called the cops. The chief of police came, two other police officers came, and I don't know if the night has anything to do with this or not, but that Thursday night, there was some kid, and they were probably in their teens or early 20s, were breaking into, or trying to break into vehicles on my street. They were trying to break into mine. They were trying to break into my neighbor's vehicles. And they think, the police think that the kids that were trying to break into the vehicles was using the knife and they put the knife underneath my bedroom window because the neighbors, one of my neighbors saw the kid in my yard and they called the police. And come to, <coughs> come to find out, they also tried to break into the <coughs> They tried to break into the Presbyterian Church, which is only two blocks from my house. And my cousin, who is a police officer in my town, he is a K-9 officer. And he's the one that caught the kids trying to break into the Presbyterian church. But the, the police did take the, we stood around and talked for a little bit. The three police, the police chief and two other officers. And I told them who I thought did it and due to the background of this person and due to this person getting out of jail back in March and so they took the knife and they did try to get the fingerprints off of the knife I got an email this morning from the police chief and he said that they could not get identifiable fingerprints off of the knife. So that happened two weeks ago and that and that whole weekend and that following week I just I didn't talk to anybody, I just stayed to myself. And I kept in contact with the police. And the police are doing extra patrol in my block ever since then. And the funny part is, is that the is that the guy that got out of jail back in March has not been around since that Thursday night. I mean, since that Thursday night. Find that quite interesting. Okay, my new, 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 new start for this month. And, um, let me get this right. And by Country Cottage Needleworks. 
and it's the Frosty Forest series. And as of yesterday, I now have, I now own all nine patterns. So I will show you all, oh, hang on a second. I will show you all nine patterns. And order. Okay. Chart number one. Raccoon Cabin. I'm being interrupted by my child. Come here. Come here. Hang on a second. He wants to get back up on my lap. See, every time I make a video, Every time I start making a video, he wants it on my lap. Especially if I'm sitting, if I'm in my office. Child. Okay. <laughs> Chart number two. No dear. Sorry about the glare. Can't. So that's chart number two. Chart number three, it calls No Man Cottage. And this is by uh, Country Cottage Need Needlework. And the name of the series is called, Frost is called Frosty Forest Series. And see one, okay, one, two, three. Okay, the fourth chart at cost no friends. Yes, I ate food. And then I'm looking track here. The fifth one is called. Bluebird Cabin. It is so cute. Then the second one is called Nori Foxes. The seventh one is called no girls cottage the eighth one of course no rain reindeer he's purring I don't know if you can hear it or not And then the last one, uh, chart number nine, is called Frosty Forest. So that's all nine charts for this for the Frosty Forest series. I got all nine of them. I am so happy. I got all night. I had to buy them a little bit at a time because cause they were like five something, I think it was. And I got them all from uh, a triple one, but I got eight of them from one, two, three, six, and then I got one uh, uh one of them from uh my LNS House of Scissors. And. Uh, here is my start. This is um fourteen count light blue Ada, and 
and I'm sitting in the tree. I got this the white border done on the very left side. So when I get my tit yeah, my tit Rubia tequila project completely finished, then whoops, I got a pen sticking out. Then I am going to work on this. It's gonna be my evening project. So, and I'll say my bag. I got my vinyl plastic bag from 123 Stitch. And I'm going to buy something. So, that was my haul. My, uh, Magnet board, and I'm not going to show it to you because I got my pattern on there. Uh, I got this, my magnet board. Oh, and, and another small floss box. And this is for my Frosty Board Series project. So I keep everything in this nice big vinyl plastic bag and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It's nice and big and the size is 15 by 18. So that's the size of this. So those are the three, well, two, my Tisrovia and my Peaceful, Peaceful Source that I'm working on. When I get Tisrovia done, then I'm pulling out my Frosty Forest. When I get Peaceful Source done, then I'm going to pull out my Curious Library 35 and get that finished up. So that is my plans. And then the the last time I made a video, I forgot to mention the book that I'm reading. And, oh, and I'm wearing my Mayberry Cheryl cat. Because I'm having a bad hair day. See, I told you. <laughs> I'm wearing my hair grow out. Getting nice and long in the back, and I love it. The book that I'm currently reading is uh, called Classified as Murder by Miranda James. And this is book number two in uh, a Cat in the Stack Mystery series. And I am almost done with that. I take my time reading that I'm I have decided that I am in no hurry to finish the book. I'm gonna take my time reading it. And so I read ten pages a day and the rest of the time I stitch. So I am I got probably about eight more chapters to go yet before I'm finished with this book. So, and I did order a needle miner from Jenny's Boutique and the needle miner is called, is called Holy Bible. So, I'm waiting on that to arrive and I have not gotten it yet. So, I'm still waiting on that. And, I am the type of person, or I, I am the type of sister, put it that way. I am the type of sister that will stitch on what I want, when I want to. I don't have no deadline to meet. I don't have to count my stitches. 
I don't have to do anything because to me, teaching is supposed to be relaxing, fun, enjoyable, and seeing a picture come alive. That is just me. That's how I am. So, and I just when I feel like it. And it's usually in the early morning and late at night. And today is also Frosty Friday. So, I want to get this video made today. Since I met the last two weeks due to what has been going on. And things have settled down quite a bit in my block because the one neighbor that was getting his motorcycle has moved out with his family. So it's been a little bit more quieter since then. So I think that is it. And you got to see Buttercup 50,000 times. <laughs> so I want to thank all of my new subscribers for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for all of your comments. I really appreciate it and they make my day. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the description box below. And I will see you next. <coughs> I will see you next Friday, hopefully, if everything stays calm and nothing else happens. So, oh, and the weather today is cool and sunny. And we had a couple of thunderstorms this past week. So the sky is cloudy, but. It's mostly sunny and cool and a little bit windy out. So that is it for now. And I will talk to you all later. Love you all. Stay safe. Be well. And just a lot. Bye.